Welcome back to the Exit Rockley for Demon Souls, ladies and gentlemen. We left off here in the Swamp of Sorrow. What a lovely place. So, we have these interesting little jellyfish creatures in the water that will attack you. They're kind of similar to, like, the clams in Dark Souls. You know, the, the ones I'm talking about that are in the Ash Lake and, uh, and the Crystal Cave. I would say that that's the closest resemblance of these creatures would be those things. And then off in the distance there, we have big boy and little boys. But we're going to handle them. Don't worry. So we killed the butcher's knife meat cleaver enemy in the last episode before we ended. And now we're going to go collect some of these other items. But unfortunately, we are running through the sludge. So let's keep our, let's keep our poison curatives handy. Because you're just, you're going to get poisoned through here. That's all there is to it. We could cast Regeneration and put the Adjudicator's Shield on. That would be super helpful. I think that would probably do it, honestly. That would probably almost mitigate the poison. The War Scythe. This is a cool weapon. They stuff it all the way down here, pretty far away in the game. But the cool thing about this weapon is it's light, man. It only weighs three units. And it's got a 1313 requirement, which is almost nothing. It's very easy to invest that stat. We are just one shy to use it. Um, I think we could two-hand it. It'd be just fine. But this is a dexterity scaling weapon, and it's got bleed on it. It does have low base damage, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's good. I've used it on characters before. I kind of like it. I have success with it. So let's do this, damn it. Elden Ring... I tell you, man, it's very interesting hopping back and forth between these games because I know what to expect, but it's just like my thumbs can't do it, man. My thumbs can't just like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to take a little shortcut here. So, kind of like <laughs> anti-Gollum's advice, <laughs> don't follow the lights. You do want to follow the lights here, like you do, I promise. Give it to me. Give me those soul items. I'm greedy, bro. I want them all. What the hell are you looking at? What are y'all so excited about? There's nothing to see here. Ugh. And that attack they do will cause poison, too. You really gotta be careful. Can't roll. Don't spin to win me. And no, they're really not worth killing. I mean, they'll drop Sucker Stone, maybe, if you're lucky, and that's about it. But really what we want to do is we just want to get these stray items that are out in the poison is all. And we're going to do just that. We are on the verge of getting poisoned, which is not good. But we have very high poison resistance on our armor, thankfully. We don't have much to worry about. And we have plenty of curatives as well. So even if we do get poisoned in like three... Uh, yep. <laughs> I was close. I was going to count down from three, but uh, we didn't have to. But it's okay that we're being poisoned because, I mean, you can see we have plenty of these things, right? It's all good. So let me do this. Let me get to like a safe spot. These guys shouldn't hear us, because we have the thief ring on, so let me heal. And here's going to be kind of our plan, is not get hit by those guys. And going through this fall gate is going to get us into the next portion of the level, but we got items right here we want to pick up. Really need to be smart about how you do this part. Like, we have a very strong fire attack, which is great. I'm a huge fan of us having this. But I also don't want to die here, so what I'm going to do... So I'm going to put on our talisman. And you never know what's going to happen with these clowns. Oop. Let's get our stuff back. And also, sorry if my voice sounds kind of scratchy. I just... Let's see. We're not going to need the thief ring for this part. So we can honestly put on something this. This will give us more damage. And then we'll also put on the Crisp Blade. Yeah, let's maximize our efficiency here because this guy's not going to give us very much chance for error. Oh, God! Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Here we go. Go. Die! Alright. 
He's peasy. I wasn't worried. My butthole was absolutely not clenched right there. <laughs> we know it'll cook those guys in one hit because they're weak. But we don't. We absolutely don't want to underestimate them, though. So, shield out. Damn, man. Even after an attack of opportunity, it still takes three hits to get these guys down. What was I saying a second ago? Oh yeah, sorry for my voice. I know it sounds a little bit scratchy. It's not very, uh, it's not very appealing in these videos as of late. But that's just because, like, I'm not really sure what's going on. The 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 air in my apartment has kind of been like super dry, and I think it's just because it's getting cold is all. And uh, it really has been getting cold, like significantly colder than normal. Because I feel like this entire summer slash early fall, absolutely fucking hate this part just because of these mosquitoes well for more than them but wait what here we go don't do it don't even do it i'm gonna be wasting quite a few arrows just getting rid of these things but the problem is they spawn infinitely and they did in dark souls too so it's, it's very unfortunate damn we can just get rid of these guys with arrows are you kidding me that's so easy thank god we upgraded this thing <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah, my my throat is pretty sore, man. It's uh, it's not good. I'm not feeling too good lately, and uh, I'm not sick. I mean, I don't I don't have like a cold or anything like that. But I think it's I think it's just because of how dry it is. Maybe I'm gonna get like a humidifier or something. Possibly, lock on. There we go. And you can also use throwing knives against these guys, which I have those. I might use. I might try to burn through those first before we start wasting arrows. The arrows are more useful against these guys. And it's not bad that we're using our arrows because we're not going to need, like, too many of them for a lot of this part. Like, we don't need 150 arrows to be able to pull 150 enemies. There just simply aren't that many. So it's okay that we're using these to do some damage for these parts. I completely overcomplicated the justification behind using my arrows right there. Just, long story short... Use them if you got them, because why else did you buy them? Oh, great. Come oh. on, um, let me get through you. Or not. Okay, interesting. So, that's one part where I guess I didn't remember that trap at all, which... Probably would have gone a lot better if I used the Thief Ring. Oh, sorry, Thief Ring. I'm sorry I betrayed you. Never again. All right, so there's our first death down here. There are going to be probably more of them. This level is just straight up hard, man. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's just, even if you've played through it a thousand times, and I have, because I can totally remember where everything is and exactly when it happens, but the problem is, is the, the level is just straight up hard, you know? Like the enemies down here. The placements are kind of unforgiving and brutal. Enemies are not easy to deal with. Okay, so if we attack of opportunity with a strong attack, we can kill these guys in one hit. That's good. Are you going to stand up? I think you are. All right, and then there's the lizards over there, and then I think... Yeah, it looks like we missed an item anyway, so it's kind of... It's honestly a good thing we came back. Let's go get that real quick. Don't follow me down here. Okay... Okay, yeah, I had a feeling there was an item in this corner. Can't see it till you're down here, though, because it's covered. So, ooh, the Murden hair. <laughs> That's a pretty good weapon, too. I, uh, I'm kind of glad that we came back for it. And we're going to get poisoned. Yep. And that absurd. I can't remember where... Ooh, the regenerator's ring. We already have one, though. And that absurd, man. I can remember, like, exactly... Where I can exa I can remember by by pure memory exactly when I'm gonna get poisoned with with how many seconds I run through this sludge based on this armor we're wearing. It's almost like a feeling. Like I couldn't tell you how many seconds it is mathematically. Like I couldn't count how many s seconds it takes. It's just like it's like something I feel. You know, like I can tell exactly when the poison's gonna proc because of how many times I've ran through this level over the years beating this game, and yet. There are some parts of the game, like that trap just now, where I just completely forget exactly what, exactly where the enemy placements are, which is kind of lame, right? Like, why the hell are you watching my walkthrough then? But still. 
I don't care about these guys, man. I don't care. Just let me through. I'm just trying to get back to where I was. It's my only concern right now. Thank God you don't have to try to roll into those to break them either. Jeez. Alright, and then we got Big Guy Island over there. Don't really care about that. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to let my poison sort of go down. You know what I mean? Let's do this. Um, I really wish I had three slots, man. Like, I wish this was like Elden Ring had three slots, because then I wouldn't have to do this. But let's cast Regeneration to get some health back without wasting a grass. Okay. And then this will stack with the Regenerator's Ring. As well as the Adjudicator Shield, which I don't have on me. It would have been great to bring that down here. Maybe we'll get it at the next Archstone. Just so we can have it. But I'm going to stick to the outside here. Get our stamina back. Keep running. Probably not going to make it. We're probably going to get poisoned. But I don't want to deal with these guys again. I just don't. Like, we don't have to. I only killed them so we could grab the items. And not die getting chased. But, we made it back. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oops. Alright. So now we know what's going to happen. Let me switch to our throwing knives and get rid of these jerks. Oh, never mind. They're strong. Of course they're strong. Oops. I don't really recommend free aiming against these guys, like, particularly because, well, I should be using fire against these guys. It would be much better. I don't recommend free aiming because there's a chance you'll miss. And, like, you are almost guaranteed to hit them as long as you can lock onto them, but... I don't know. I'm gonna take some chances, though. Because I ain't worried. I just want to kill these guys. So where did that guy stand up? That's what I need to know. Where was he, and how can we do it differently this time? Because <laughs> that sucked. That was bogus. Let's drop down. I bet he drops down. That's probably what it is. I mean, he didn't stand up. Is he in there? I bet he is. Alright, let's pull this guy. Come here, you. I'm gonna attack of opportunity your ass. There he is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> he was hiding in that little cave up there. What in the world? There we go. Attack of opportunity. Goodness. Whoa! Okay. Alright. There we go. Somebody has been training with the, uh, the people on that planet that taught Goku instant transmission. It would appear. You're not even hitting me. My turn. Are there any more? There are. How many of you are there? Now be very careful. If you lock on on this part, it's super easy to die. Come on, hit, hit me. There we go. I need to attack of opportunity you. Looks like there's more up there. Come on. Come on, get down here. I haven't got all day. You mongrels. Oh, that was a bad idea. Right. Get this heal back up. Come on. Get down here. Now. I don't have time. I already died once. I need you to come down. How many are there? Good lord. Come on. You're stalling. Let's go. 
Block in time against that guy, but it's okay. Wow, did they just spawn infinitely? The hell's going on, man? This is kind of strange. I don't see any more light in there. It means there's no more flames, I guess. Should be okay. All right. It was a strange kind of... Uh... Look at this guy. Okay, so the fire is not really doing any extra. Matter of fact... It's doing less. Huh, okay. So I guess our normal arrows are just better for this part. Fine with me, because we can use fire arrows for something a little more productive later. Versus wasting it on these clowns. Alright, so now we're going to drop down. we got to be careful. We're going to come up onto this village up here that's going to have these shamans that are bad, man. They can, uh, they can cast plague and stuff. It's not good. But we're not going to get got. We already got got one time, today's episode. We're not going to get got a second time. <laughs> All right, and then because we have access to the other side of the swamp now, which, well, via carefully dropping down, before we head over into that area, into Shaman Town, what we're going to do is we're actually going to backtrack a little bit, go get some items, and we'll deal with Giant Guy Island. Probably the worst part, the single, the singular worst part of the game, honestly, is, is what that is. <laughs> Big Guy Island. Oh, it's bad. Damn it. Elden Ring. Alright, Dark Moon Grass we got. And now, let's use our camera. Look around. It is incredibly dark down here, but I don't need to change the settings to be able to see it, at least. We should be fine. Um, Alright, let's run over and grab this item now. Man, one thing I always appreciated about this game is you don't, you don't really get invaded, per se, by enemy NPCs. Got another Thief Ring. You get, uh, you don't get invaded, per se, by enemy NPCs. You just get, like, I don't know the best way to describe it. It's like they, they're already there, if that makes sense. Like, the enemies that, in, that invade you are already there as soon as you spawn in, if you haven't already killed them. So, I'm just going to run back over here. And now we're going to make our way. I don't think there's any items along the fence out there. We'll definitely see them as we continue, but I'm going to... Go back to getting to the rest of this level. All right, you bastards. Come on. What's it going to be? I'm just getting rid of them. I don't want to deal with these guys. They're awful. They poison you. They seemingly ignore all forms of poison hyper armor, which is completely bogus. Oh, they drop sucker stone, I bet. Marrow stone, okay. Okay, taking a look at the wall, I don't think I see any items out there. All we have to worry about in this case is Big Guy Island. and It's called Big Guy Island for reasons that you cannot see yet, but trust me, you'll see. <laughs> the name is not a redundancy. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is a very purposeful title. That's all I'm going to say for now. And then we're going to unlock, I think... Uh, I think we'll end up going around and dropping down right here is what's going to happen. So we'll get there when we get there. Okay, don't know why my controller just did that. It's Both of my analog sticks are drifting on this controller. I don't know why. Did you guys miss the slugs? They're back. With a vengeance. Okay. Two R1s will do it against these guys. That's good. I'm just going to get rid of these guys. And then over there, what we're going to do is we're actually going to get a super badass weapon in this giant floating slug nest. Um, 
for this part. Do I have fire bombs? I do not. Okay. Fine by me. We have Soul Ray, though. We can get close enough to lock on. This goes through enemies. In theory. There we go. These guys drop. Sucker Stone. Okay. So, I have to get close enough to do it, though. We're in poison, though, which is bad. Okay, that does not seem to hit more than one enemy, which is stupid, but... Don't want to get poisoned, so let's just get out. Let's just get rid of these guys while we can. Now, if they bite you, it's fine. It doesn't really do a bunch of damage. You don't, you don't necessarily want to volunteer to get bit, but uh, <laughs> this is not this is not Brave Wilderness. We're not Coyote Peterson. But those guys, I'm pretty sure, are just going to keep dropping down unless we go up there and cut the nest down. So let's just. Let's just move on. We just wanted to get the item behind him more than anything else. I can see our first shaman as well. And it's going to throw our first round of big guys at us. So we know that the fire arrows won't do anything extra. But what we want to do is we want to try to get rid of that shaman without hitting the big guys. So maybe we can hit that guy with fire arrow. No, okay. Oh, come on. Probably gonna hit that big guy. Oh, come on. There we go. Well, never mind. I wasn't trying to hit the big guy. That's bogus. Alright. Big guy comes over here. We're gonna be in trouble. So, let's keep our wand ready, just in case. There we go. Need him to, to actually come over here, though. Because trust me, you do not... You do not want to mess up on this part. You do not want to aggro a big guy. One and two at the same time. You don't want to do that. I really would like to get rid of that shaman, though. Oh, come on. What are you doing, man? Are you coming over here or not? Come on. There we go. So that guy is done. That's good. Now we gotta be real careful against big guys. I did not cast second chance again, I don't think. We should probably do that. Anytime you're dealing with big guys, it's always a smart idea to cast second chance. Wait. I don't have it. That was heal I cast earlier, not second chance. Good lord. Wow, I'm so out of it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine with me. I'm okay with that. I need to switch back to second chance when we can, though. Alright, let me hit this guy. Come on. Come on. Lock on, damn it. God, that's so annoying. Alright. Lock-on in this game is so bad. I'm just going to have to free aim it on this first guy, I guess. And then we'll we'll clean him up with the longsword and be careful as we dodge. Try not to grab the other one while we're at it. There we go. Wow. Wow. No, that doesn't do very much. Alright. 
Ooh, the Great Club. We got the Angry Bonk. Okay, now this guy. And then you want to get rid of that Shaman first because he's just going to cause a ton of problems. I promise. You won't be able to fight these guys as easily. Come on, lock on. There we go. Wow. These guys can be surprisingly quick. Yeah, that's the move. That does the damage, man. God, unless they move sluggishly. <laughs> Come here, man. Come here, man. I'm not playing around anymore. I just want to get rid of you. Demon's Souls is a beautiful game. Don't get me wrong. It's so good. There's a lot to like about it, but I tell you what, man. When you jump back into this game... After you've been playing Elden Ring, it's tough. It's tough. And I don't mean from a difficulty standpoint either. I mean it's tough as in it's hard to deal with some of the... Uh, some of the less quality of life things that this game just doesn't have. Okay, we got mosquitoes to deal with. Get rid of these guys. Marrow stone. And there shouldn't be anything out there. Not that I know of. <laughs> I mean, are we going to look? Sure. Pretty sure there's straight up nothing out here. I mean... It would be very Demon Souls of this game to just tuck this secret little item away out here somewhere, but... In this case, they did not, so nothing to worry about. And then we do need to go back and deal with Giant Guy Island, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure Selen Vinlin is going to be an NPC out there. That may only be in Pure Black World Tendency, but it is it is for sure an event. That much I can confirm. All right, you. So get rid of them. And then up here, we shouldn't have any normal enemies. There should be only slugs up here, I think. We might have, like, a couple of those guys, but... I'll get these slugs out of the way. Let's go get our... Let's go get our precious weapon. One of the best weapons in the game. I don't think we're going to be able to use it on this build, because I think the scaling on it is a little different than normal. Or a little different than... I shouldn't say normal. A little different than other games. Because it's going to be an incredibly iconic and recognizable weapon, but I believe it's going to scale with the opposite stat this time around. Yeah. All right. Here we go. These guys aren't too bad, thankfully. We gotta hit it a couple more times. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ring ya! Alright, legendary hero soul. Do not miss that while you're up here. I don't think there's... I don't think there's anything else up here. We should be good. No, you cannot drop down to get that either. <laughs> don't try. There's actually a little super dark series of drops that are right here. Not exactly easy to see. It's pretty easy to miss. So be careful while you're dropping down here, though. Poor footing will cost you your life. Ask me how I know. And this is the exact spot that I was pointing out, actually, that... Uh, we're going to drop down right here, yeah. Okay, cool. Now let's go collect our loot. Ugh, there's so many of them. Let's see if we can just, like, clean them up a little bit. 
Oh, there we go. It'll hit more than one like that. Good, good, good. Okay. There we go, yeah. That's what I want. Burn them all. Yeah. What? I guess it picks and chooses, huh? Come on. All right, fuck this. Ah! Should be almost all of them, right? Two more. All right. Let's kill all the slugs HD. That's me. Yeah! Should have played dead, man. All right. Here we go. Isn't it beautiful? Large Sword of Moonlight. Fantastic weapon. But, it scales in faith in this game. <laughs> kind of weird, huh? A little bit different. Um, a legendary sword that shines with moonlight, strongly associated with Moonlight Knight Vito, one of the few remaining relics of God. The blue crystal blade is composed entirely of light, making it impossible to block with a shield. And that's the cool thing about it. You notice how it's a great sword, but it uh, only weighs two units. And that's because... Look at that, man. It is, uh, it looks very cool in this game. It looks entirely different than it normally would. It's got these cool effects on it, too. That's amazing. So it's like invisible. It looks like it's made of glass in the original game. And I like what they did in this game. It looks very cool. Um, I really was heavily contemplating doing a build focused around this weapon because then we could have two in absurdly strong weapons in this playthrough because we would have faith. And the other weapon would have been the Meat Cleaver, which I used primarily in my PlayStation 3 walkthrough. All right, so what we're going to do to end this episode is we are going to do... We're going to go on a madman's errand is what we're going to do, and we are going to do Big Guy Island. All right. Don't know what all this magic on the ground is. I don't know what all that business is, but... Oh, boy. Dull gold stuff. That's, uh... I believe that's the Selen Vinland stuff. Oh, we sent it to the box. We can't look at it. Damn it! All right, that's fine. So, this is why it's called Big Guy Island. Um, if it wasn't already kind of apparent, there's a lot of big guys. And they are not easy to deal with. They're quite difficult, especially if you get more than one of them, which is highly not recommended. I really, really don't recommend you do that, but the other problem is once you get them out here chasing you, you're not going to be able to dodge if you're in the sludge, and that's kind of your only chance against these guys to dodge them. Stop doing that, please. Why is this controller doing this? Um, you want to be real careful against this part in particular. We don't need the Thief Ring. We're going to need as much magic damage as we possibly can. Um, this one, Sharpness. We don't want Dullness, we want Sharpness. Uh, keep the, thief, the Cling Ring on because we need all the health. So, are we at full health? Nope, we are now. We're going to need Spice because when that guy gets close, we're going to blast him with fire. So, what I recommend you do is just pull them one at a time. The Lava Bow is real good for this part, man. Oh, come on. There we go. That's it. Get your ass over here, man. So, they're going to come about that far out. Oh, I want our shield. So, what we're going to do for this part... We're just gonna be gonna be as delicate as we can. Try to outspace the attacks when we can. Oh my god, how did that happen? 
really don't want to die on this part. This would be a terrible place to die. Oh, God. Come on. Okay, there's one. And at least they don't kill us in one hit. I'm kind of thankful for that. I highly recommend you don't use the Thief Ring for this part in particular because they're just going to lose aggro on you and they're going to keep running around like all over the place in the sludge and you're going to keep trying to hit them with more arrows. Um, take the Thief Ring off for this part. It just makes it easier because you don't have to worry about the rest of them seeing you and there's no other enemies that are nearby that you have to worry about. But you do want them to run all the way to you is the thing. All right. Come on, pal. Go. Get that free hit. Shield up against these guys. Get a couple hits. All right. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat until they are all dead. Come on. There we go. Now, trying to get this, like, risky fireball on them is not really good, but I just want all the damage, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to kill them as fast as possible because the longer you fight these guys, the more likely you are to make a mistake. Oh! Like that. Come on. Whoa! Why am I not... Oh, it's because I'm in the sludge! No! Ay, ay, ay. So that's the part that... That's literally the only part that will get you killed right here. Is you, you have to worry about the sludge, which sucks. Oh, God. That's going to be an annoying run back. So we're actually at time. I was really hoping I'd be able to do that on the first try, but uh, again, the there's... I think somewhere in this game, I, I don't know where, there's an item somewhere in the Shrine of Storms maybe or something like that where you can get an item that makes it possible for you to move faster in the slime but I don't know where that is so I only know where like all the original items are in this game and that's a new item that's exclusive to this version uh, so I don't know where it is but that's that's all the time I have for this episode we're gonna have to cut here that's bogus man I was really hoping to do that on the first try but again like if you if you try to block their attacks they're just gonna rip right through your guard and they're gonna they're gonna do half your health in one hit it's uh incredibly brutal but we'll go get our souls and stuff next time and then we will deal with we will deal with big guy island in a better way next time so thanks so much for joining me on today's episode of the expert walkthrough for demon souls I've been your faithful host let's play Dark Souls HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video.